Jed Adcock said you needed to, to grind one out. Justin, is that how it was for you tonight? Yeah, you can't grind it out any more than that, <laughs> can you? Um, yeah, it, it, we did, and we were challenged. And halfway through that last quarter, the game was probably only heading one way. To be honest, they were, they were really running on top of us. So I'm proud for the guys to to, to fight it out. They did have the, you know the last scoring shot, so the game could have been decided by that. But as I said, they, they grounded out, so it's, it's, it's great. I mean, one thing our guys have struggled to do probably in the first five weeks is um, when we've been challenged, just hold the fort a bit. And I thought we did that better um, and didn't leak as many goals. So um, that was one good sign. How pleased were you with the forward pressure? Because it seemed like certainly the first two and a bit quarters, it, and he, they struggled to get it out of their forward half. And anytime mm. they did, they had to really attack by the flanks. Yeah, that's right. Our, our, just in our selection this week, having Green back with Zorko and little Louis Taylor, um, we've got some we've got some pretty good forward pressure there. And I think over the next ten years, I reckon that's going to be a pretty big combination for us. Just those three, just to be able to keep that ball in there. And it's one thing we did better. Um, they didn't transition that well from the back half. Nor did we, but. It's much easier when you win the game, um, and it gives guys the confidence in the game plan. Look, said, we still made a lot of errors in that last 15 minutes, and we've still got things to reflect on and, and get better at, but it's just good to, to crawl over the line. What about the, the pressure on, on the group from a winless start? Is, were you feeling it? And, uh, and that's where <laughs> the last 15 minutes I, 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 was, I was worried, you know, because yeah. we started to kick the ball out in the full and, and, and do, make the silly mistakes in the last 15 minutes when the rest of the game we'd actually been pretty good. Um, so I was, I was a bit worried for a second there, but the guys, as I said, were able to grind there. Probably not with, with skills, but just with a little bit of um, a little bit of heart. And young Ace, I guess we all knew he was going to be a good player, but he certainly showed something tonight for you. Yeah, and, and our supporters will see more of that with every week, and they'll get better, and they'll have games where they'll be a little bit off, but then they'll have games like tonight where you know James and Louis they, they stepped up and gave us their best, so that's what happens in the ride of a young player and, and I was right for him. James really was solid tonight. He, he really played a really mature game and I was right for him. And, and Jack, did you enjoy uh, the experience of coming over to, to another country and playing? Yeah, fantastic. I mean, we, we travel a lot, um, obviously being a Brisbane-based team, but um, a fantastic experience. And one thing that's tricky when you come into a new city like a lot of our young boys are, they want to walk around the town and take it all in and check out the museum and all those things, but you know, one thing we're very conscious of early is we're here to to get the four points, and um, so I, I thought they, they sort of held that balance really well. But it was, yeah, it was a, it was a very enjoyable trip for us, obviously, because we walk away also with the, with the points. The day before the match, you talked about how good Nick Revolt's form had been, and that you were adamant that Joel Patful was going to get the first crack at it. How did you rate Joel's performance? Uh, I thought it was exceptional. Um, uh, difficult player, difficult conditions also for forwards. I thought tonight, um, but Joel uh, had a slow start to the year, and he's probably his biggest challenge on any slower start to his season of his, of his career. So um, I thought he, I thought he did the job that we wanted. Justin, we've seen a couple of different. Well, Robertson's had two weeks at it now. He got a harsh lesson last week, but for the first half on Jack mm -hmm. Stephen, he did a really good job. I thought and. And we would have probably assumed that Reigns would come in to do that, but he played outside the contest a bit and yeah. provided something for you. Yeah, he did, and, and that's what we wanted Reigns in the team for. I mean, we, we don't want one-dimensional players. We want players to be able to play multiple positions. That's where the game's going, and and that was a challenge for Reigns. And, and the last two or three weeks, his offensive game's gone on another level. Um, so now we can use him in multiple roles, and, um, and it's a credit to him. It's hard when you... 27 years of age and a new coach shows you a new challenge and, and it's a credit to Rainsy because he took it on and he, he proved and he did it. Now he's back in the team and um, and it's going to be hard to kick out if he keeps playing like that. Did they move a tag onto it? It seemed like Curran went to him a bit in the second oh, half, which was he, ironic. He did, his game did slow down in the in the second half. I didn't take much particular notice about the, the match-up itself. I was more worried about their... You know, when Lenny gets back on top and Lee Montagna, I'm starting to stress a bit more about that <laughs> than, than, than anything. Um, but I didn't notice that one. I know the win's the greatest reason for you to be happy, but do we also look back and think, all right, opening six weeks, we've played the top three and also two other decent teams in, um, in the Gold Coast and Richmond. He's actually not had, even though it was none and five, a, you, know, you, you probably had excuses for it. Oh, I wouldn't say excuses. I mean, um, we knew the fixturing was hard for us at the start. Didn't help getting injuries to some key players, um, but footy dishes that up. Um, and that's why when part of Jed's statement was saying we need to grind one out because there's a lot of things that haven't gone our way but you can't make excuses in this game you've just got to, you know you, you've got to beat your best 24-7 and that's it, and that's the challenge and um, it's hard these guys play a really tough game, it's a gruelling game um, that's what I'm really right for
any injury worries at all? Uh, no, no, nothing, nothing that's um, it's not going to require any more than just a little bit of physio. So nothing's going to miss any games.